Yeah. Where was that one? Today. I don't know. Is a day for truth. The world needs to know what happened and to know what he stands for. That kind of power is very dangerous. the records show that this committee holds him responsible. That's how it starts. The fever. The rage that turns good men. Cruel. This bat vigilante is like a one-man reign of terror. You don't get to decide what the right thing is. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. This means something. It's all some people have. It's all that gives them hope. People hate what they don't understand. Be their hero, Clark. Be their angel. Be their monument. Be anything they need you to be. Or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. You never did. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? The devils don't come from hell beneath us. It? They come from the sky. 20 years in Gotham, how many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. problems with this movie. All right, Adam. Uh, there's, there's so much happening. I feel like in order for them to cover everything that we see on the trailer, it's going to be like a six-hour movie. So you, got, you got Batman, you got, it looks like his origin story. Yeah. Uh, you got Superman dealing with his uh, Lack of incredible hair. style being sued for his destruction. <laughs> I feel like it's like... Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Also and they're introducing Aquaman. Which, which they didn't, I didn't show see the trailer. Well, there's, a scene where, there's a scene where someone's underwater and they're touching what looks like a rock or something. Is he someone touching Superman there. again? Uh, and then you got Lex Luthor, and somehow he knows what kryptonite is. Yeah. Uh, that, that's also been weird to me. How does Lex Luthor find out about this rock that only exists somewhere else, or it's his only weakness, but... Ah. Well, I, well in, for, for understanding of this movie, well, not understanding, for um, just, just saying this fact that you haven't seen the movie yet, Yeah. It's a possibility they can explain that. But the only way that I feel like Lex Luthor, can, even if he found this rock, and Lex Luthor said, hey, that's, I don't like that, it hurts me. <laughs> uh, how's he going to like, oh, I'm, he just finds a green rock, hmm, I wonder if Superman would be weak to this. Uh -huh. I just, well, anyway, but, but that's a different thing. We'll, we'll get to that when, once that part happens. But like, like we're saying, so we got four different, possibly five storylines happening, Yeah. This, which could each probably take an hour, uh, I, would, I would think, to, uh, to explain no, the right you, way. No, you can do like 20 minutes. 20 minutes each storyline? Yeah, why not? It'll be fun. Uh, Aquaman, you can just do a bit, like, yeah. two, five minutes, just, hey, there's the king of the, of the sea. 
Okay, move on to the next guy. Scroll text, move on. Scroll text, wow. <laughs> See, that's one thing I know for sure they're probably not going to do. Yeah, for when, sure, probably. When uh, Ben yeah. Affleck was cast as ba Batman, yeah. everybody hated it. Oh. I love the idea of him as Batman. And I, think I, don't, this, I don't mind it. And I think this trailer shut everybody up. Yeah. Once again, like huh. the, the, Jer the Jared Leto cast as a Joker, mm -hmm. once people saw this, oh, wow, yeah, I guess Ben Affleck's going to be good as Batman. Okay. No shit. I've been saying that for, what, like a year? See, yeah, yeah. I only have one problem with it. When he's going to fight Superman, why does he have the mask where it's open right here? The power suit? Yeah, his power suit. Well, it's open right there. from The Dark Knight uh, Returns. It was uh -huh. a graphic novel from the 80s by Frank Miller, okay. where it's an old Batman who comes out of retirement to fight Superman, who's a, a government oh. like, lapdog. Uh -huh. So he, he uses this like power suit to, to fight him. No, no, no. Because realistically, Batman can't. Can't. No. Touch super like in two seconds, Superman can instantly kill laser him. eyes, yeah. laser eyes every single time. See, that, that's fine. I mean, Batman can like do what he did in the in the preview. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, why does Batman have a, a face like half his face showing? I mean, all all they're boring. That's what he looked yeah. like in the. In but it's the same, the same thing like Robocop. Same kind of pr a problem. He's a full metal body, exposed yeah. skin. Just yeah. shoot him in the mouth. Yeah. No, <laughs> actually, you didn't uh, Robocop actually have a mask that covered the whole thing at one point? No. No. no? It was then, always his mouth exposed. Then there's twice that I feel like yeah. there's done something wrong. Well, well I, got, I got a question about this. In the, in the trailer, it shows uh, Bruce Wayne mm -hmm. running towards a falling building. Is, yeah. are, are we led to believe Superman flew to Gotham and was fighting, destroying shit over there? Did or, you watch Man of Steel? Yeah. Remember they were destroying Metropolis? Yeah. Him fighting Zod? Well, right. In the trailer, there was a building that's a broken sign that says Wayne Financial. So that was his building. Yeah, but... It, Wayne Financial is in Gotham. I know, but they're a conglomerate. They have, I'm sure they have buildings around the world. So he just, he just happened to be in Metropolis the day that it was being attacked? Sure, why not? Yeah. It's, it's right. DC World. Anything's possible. So based on these two trailers, <laughs> the Suicide Squad and Superman Batman, which one are you more excited to see? Wait, wait. what? Su Suicide Squad. For based sure. on Suicide Squad and Batman, the Superman, Superman Batman trailer, which of these two movies are you most excited to see? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that was on purpose. That yeah, was, that was oh, on you purpose, dick. yeah. You did. Me, I, Superman, Batman. Yes? I, I knew Affleck was going to be good as Batman. Plus, you have I'm Jeremy sure. Irons, the voice of Scar. Oh, yes. As yes. Alfred. Jeremy also, you know him as Simon. Yes, Simon. Die Hard with Avengers. Yes, yeah. Simon Gruber. You had to help him, didn't you? Oh, man. I mean, this is our first video. That, that was my... That was, and you give him the Bruce Willis <laughs> knockoff. Come on. That, that was the, uh, the most excited the most excited I got during the entire thing. I just saw Jeremy Irons like, oh, I forgot he was supposed to be Alfred. And I just see him and I hear the voice. And did you see the Robin costume? I was going to ask you about that. You, yeah. you, had, you had mentioned it, but I don't understand. Yeah. So it's written, ha ha, the joke's on you. So yeah. it sounds like uh, in this world, the Joker killed Robin, he which did. might have forced him to retire. So well, saying Superman brings him back. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Well it, well, it could have been possible that it's playing the, with the storyline that uh, I think was the second Robin that actually died by Joker's hand. Jason Todd in the yeah. comics. Stuff. Yeah. That's how he comes back as the Red Hood. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think they're going to do that. In okay. This. So, okay. so, so okay. In, this, in this movie then... We have a retired Batman coming out of retirement to fight Superman. Yes. But at the same time, we're bringing an origin story uh, where it shows his parents dying. Oh, yeah. Again, I don't understand why every nah. every single form of Batman has to rehash we've his seen, origin. We've seen it so many times. I hate Gotham, uh, Gotham on Fox. That's yeah. That TV show. That's how it started. I, yeah. yeah. I, I get it. We all understand. He killed his parents. We're done. Who at this age has doesn't know doesn't, about yeah. Batman? Who, who doesn't know his origin story? Yeah. Well, you honestly have to understand that with every generation that passes by, there's a good chance they won't know certain things. So that's why they rehash it. That's why they remake it for the new generation. It has nothing to do with the fact that the people that have been watching Batman continuously over the course period of time uh, doesn't know it. They already mm -hmm. probably do. I'm t we're talking about like creating the new generation a chance to see something that everyone else already knows with their with their point of view, their switch, their but ideas. But we just saw the origin from the other Batman well, like five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. All right. Well, oh, shit. We'll catch up, people. Well, I promised you <laughs> four trailers. Uh, we're not going to have time to get there, but uh, based on the three we've seen, rank them from, from one, two, three. one you're most likely okay. to see to the least you're likely to see. I go Suicide Squad, uh, Batman, and then uh, Ant-Man. Okay. I'm the exact opposite. Okay. Uh, Ant-Man number one. Ant -Man. Shocking. Okay. <laughs> Superman, Batman, Suicide Squad, Ant-Man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. What just, about you? That was mine. Okay. okay. That's, my, that's my exact All right. order. Very good. Okay. I just feel like like Marvel, we've seen so many Marvel movies. Like now I want to see what DC can do with their movies. 
outside of the Christopher Nolan no, Batman fair. movies. That's since fair. they're making their own is, is, is it possible that they rush through Ant-Man to get it out there now before Deadpool comes out? Well, actually, Ant-Man w- was supposed to come out before Iron Man. Oh. Yeah, like they had uh, Edgar Wright, who did Shaun of the Dead. Mm-hmm. He had the rights to make the movie, and for the longest time he tried to get it made and he couldn't. Huh. So once these Marvel movies started becoming hits, okay. boom, time to release Ant-Man. Mm. All right. So they had time then. So, they had a lot of time. Yeah. So okay. we, this better be a good product then. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, it's fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. People, people seem to like it. All right. We'll see. I like Paul Rudd, but I, again, I have low hopes. Okay, guys. So that was our take on those three trailers. Go to our website, ratpackpodcast.com slash spoilers. Go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash spoilers. And go to our new Twitter feed, which is at Spoiler Show, S-P-O-I-L-E-R-S-S-H-O-W. You can communicate with all three of us. We're all on either of those. Send us an email to spoilers at ratpackpodcast.com. If you want to give any uh, requests for movies, comments, anything you want to talk to us about, we got a couple emails. Leave us a review on iTunes. Uh, that helps rank you on the show. And like I say on the podcast, if you leave us a review on iTunes and you put a movie request, we'll put that to the top of our list and we'll watch that next. So follow us on the podcast space, and uh, we'll be back, and we'll try to figure out a, a, something else to do. Like I said, this is going to be a, a, a compliment to the show. All right. All right. And that's it, guys. This is Hollywood. See you. Adam, out. You're not going to say anything? Nope. Okay. <laughs>